Howdy folks, welcome back to the Wyoming Way. Thanks for tuning in. Join me today as we ultrasound test these registered bull calves. We are ultrasounding the bull calves and the heifer calves. We have hired a technician for the day to come out and use his ultrasound machine to get a visual picture of the carcass traits on these registered calves. The ultrasound technician is going to scan for two important things today. Intermuscular fat, or IMF, which is a measurement of the amount of fat within the muscle, and ribeye area, which is a measurement of how big the muscle is. Cattle with higher amounts of intermuscular fat are going to generate beef products that are more tender, more juicy, and more flavorful. And a large ribeye area translates into bigger steaks. And since these two traits are heritable, the data we collect today can be used to inform our breeding decisions. We are also going to collect yearling weights on all these calves, and that data will be sent into the American Angus Association and will be useful for determining the growth performance and feed efficiency of these cattle relative to the breed average. The yearling weight will be converted to a ratio. So for example, let's say one of these bulls had a yearling ratio of 105. The way you would interpret that is that that bull's offspring are expected on average to have a 5% higher yearling weight than the breed average. So as you can imagine, that kind of information can be very useful when cattle producers begin to make breeding decisions for their cow herd. So Eric, how long have you been doing this kind of work? Uh, let's see, I got certified in 2002, so. Oh, quite a long time. 20, 22, 22 years. This is the probe, though. So okay. Basically, the ultrasound machine is hooked in with a computer. So images from here that get saved, they go into this, and they get saved in the hard drive. I see. And then from here, like tonight or when I get home, I'll just uh, send them on the Internet. to. We, I use two different labs. Okay. And so uh, there they interpret it, and then... They send it to AAA or American Angus Association or whatever breed association you're with, and then they uh, send it back to the breeder, the information. Yeah. How many cattle do you think you do a year? Oh, it's, it kind of varies. Like last year, I had a guy, I started doing some Wagyu and Akarushi cattle for a guy, and he wanted his whole herd kind of done so he could see where his genetics were. And so I did about, I don't know, eight, nine hundred for him. And so it, it varies. You know, sometimes it's 2,000, sometimes it's 3,500, so. And what are we testing for today? We're just doing, we're, so we're looking for carcass. We're looking for back fat marbling and ribeye area. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So now I'm going over the... 60% of the rib fat there, 40% of the fat here, and that'll get the whole breeding for the animal. And then uh, what they'll do is you can kind of see that oval there. If you look at a rib steak, just I always look for the acorn fat if it's in a boneless one, but the acorn fat is right up there. And they'll trace that loin in the lab, and then they'll get a square inches measurement. So I'm done on this one. Thank you. 
55. Okay, folks, so about a week has gone by and we just got an email with the ultrasound results and I just wanted to show you the data. So here is a spreadsheet of all the ultrasound data for the heifer and bull calves that we ultrasounded last week. And uh, I'll just go through this row. This particular bull calf scored really well on his ribeye and IMF scores. And so I wanted to just point this bull out to you. So starting on the left here, um, this is the tattoo number of the calf, and B means it was a bull. Uh, he was born on March 7th, two, 2023. Um, this is the identifying number for the Angus Association of this animal. Uh, the AAA means American Angus Association. Um, these two columns right here are his dam's information, his mother's information and then the sire information. Um, this code is for the technician that took the data. And then, yeah, February 28th was the date that we did the ultrasound uh, scan. So if we come over here to ribeye, 10.4. So this figure is expressed in inches, uh, this, this, the size of the scan in inches. And generally, as a rule of thumb, you want to have one inch of ribeye per 100 pounds of body weight. So you can see that this calf weighed 915 pounds when we weighed him and had 10.4 inches of ribeye area, which is really, really good. And if you come over here to this column, this is the ribeye ratio, 108. So this, this figure would be interpreted that this bull had 8% higher ribeye area than the average of his peer group. So he is 8% above average. So really good there on the ribeye score. Coming over to IMF, the percent IMF was 4% intermuscular fat. If we come over and look at that expressed as a ratio, you can see that this bull did exceptionally well on his IMF score 123 meaning that he is 23 percent above average in his peer group for imf so as you can see this spreadsheet is full of data that can be very useful to us as cattle breeders we can use this data to identify genetic lines that are improving the carcass merit of our cattle and weed out the ones that are lagging behind because ultimately our goal is to try to breed the best cattle possible and this kind of data will help us achieve that goal because that's what we're in business for is to put the best cut of meat that we possibly can on your plate. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning into the Wyoming Way. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.